Hello, everybody. This is a much requested question, and it has to do with amortization tables. So I'm going to give you a, uh, a problem, and I'm also going to go over what an amortization table is. So this is the question, but I don't want to go to this just yet. We're going to go to the amortization table first. So let's discuss what you're going to be seeing on an amortization table. So you have your columns here, and each of the columns represents past the rate or interest only loan represents a time period over which you can take a loan out. And then to the left, that row is going to show you, um, those columns, excuse me, is going to show you the rate. So depending on what rate you're going to be taking the loan out at. So what you would do is you would take the, the time frame in which you would be paying off the loan and what the interest rate is. And based off of this, this would be what your monthly payment would be over that time period for every $1,000 of a loan that you take out. So given certain information, you could extrapolate a lot of different information from this. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a common question that you may be asked on an exam to utilize a amortization table. And this is going to hopefully get you familiar with how an amortization table works and just get you familiar with working through a problem. So what I would suggest is this is best viewed on a computer screen. Also best if you have pen and paper handy. So let's start and let's get right into it. So the question is this, based on the amortization table, answer the following. What is the maximum loan amount a buyer can take out if they can only afford $1,200 per month and have been approved for two loans. One is a 20 year at 3% and one is a 30 year at 4.125%. Round your answer to the nearest 100. So let's go back to the table. We're going to start first with our 20 year at 3%. So what you would do is you would look at the 20 year and you would go all the way down to the 3%. 20 year at 3% and keep in mind, take down every single number. It is important because depending on what it is, could give you, could yield you a different answer. Okay. And it's 5.4598. So it's 5.4598 for a 20 year at 3%. So let's go back to the question. It says they can only afford $1,200 a month. So let's look at the math that we're going to use for this, okay? What we're going to do is this. We are going to take our monthly payments per 1,000 and we're going to divide it into the 1,200, which is their monthly budget, okay? Their monthly budget is 1,200, so we wanna figure out how many of those 5.54598 payments could go into the 1200. Does that make sense? So we want to figure out how many of those monthly payments could fit into their budget. How many of them could fit into their budget? So the number that we're going to get is 216.2240. Then what happens is we understand that this is per 1,000. So what happens is to get that into a number that would make sense as to what they would be able to afford on a loan, we would have to take how many times that monthly payment goes into 1,200, that's the number, then multiply it by 1,000, and that's going to give us $216,224. Now it says round it to the nearest 100. We are closer to 200 than we are to 300. So the closest 100 is going to be that of 216,200. Now, we're going to go on to the next one, okay? But first, let's go back to the amortization table to make sure that we're getting the right numbers just so that you can get used to seeing this, okay? So the amortization table, we're doing a 30-year, okay? We're doing a 30-year at 4.125. Let's take a look. Here's 4.125. 
and that's on our 30 year. So it's going to be a monthly payment of 4.84650. So we're going to use the same information, the same math as we did on the first one, okay? And that's going to be this. You are going to have your monthly payment of 1200. You're going to divide it by 4.84650 because that is the monthly payment based on the 30 year at 4.125. Okay, so we have to figure out how many of those fit into our budget. How many of them fit into our budget? Do the same math. We do the same multiply by 1,000, and then we're going to round it down. So we're going to get 247,600, and that is the most that they could afford. So if you were going to work this out, that would be your answer, 247,600. I'm going to write this all in the description below. I'm going to come out with more amortization table questions. And please comment, message me, let me know what you guys think and if there's anything else that you need. If not, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you soon.